Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be going over a whole bunch of new Dokkan Battle information that came out in the past 24 hours. We may also touch upon the Universal Survival Arc event, um, just to go over it real quick. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, first things first, we're going to really talk about the new battle. So this is really for the JP version. Um, the new uh, V-Jump information has come out, and as we see over here, we have a whole bunch of new information. Uh, trying to get this up. And it looks like, well, you know what? I'm going to go based off the translation. So shout out to the Reddit. Um, this is the, the actual images are between two posts. This one's from Gummy Pepsi. And shout out to Koala San Z for uh, the translations, which I'll be bringing that over here. Uh, first off, Battlefield 2.0. We're getting Battlefield 2.0 on the JP version. I think they finally revamped it. It does look like we are going to be able to get the LR Ginyu. I'm really hoping that this comes to global because we have been waiting so long on global. I, you don't understand how many intelligence L, uh, SR Ginyus that I have. Literally waiting for this guy to come out to SA-20 him. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, let's see. Battlefield 2.0, you can participate when you rank 150 or above. Challenge the strong opponents with this renewed Dokkan Battlefield version 2.0. Challenge the enemies with characters that are ultra rare or higher. Clearing the stages will reward you with items that can be used to strengthen your characters. So it looks like it's the same, almost the same as it was before. I'm, I'm not sure if the 150 was there. I think it might have been 100 or 120. But either way, it doesn't matter. Um, make sure you guys get your rank up. So that way you can play up against this. The best way to get your rank up is by doing... We have three times um, in terms of global side. We have three times. We have no idea when this is going to be available. And global's been trying to play catch up. I have no idea when we're going to get it. But make sure you do that on global. On JP side, also go into the quests. And whenever we have a multi, a lot of experience, and you can get your rank up really fast. Plus do this the pan secret mission. That'll help you out a lot as well. Especially since we have two. Um, that's Super Battlefield 2.0. I really can't wait to see what they do with it. It might have changed. It might not have. I remember them saying, let's see here. Make your team with characters that are rarity of ultra rare or higher. Be careful. You can only use choose characters that are rarity of ultra rare or higher. Your battle will be easier if you go with a large amount of characters. Trunks, you can choose up to 100 characters. So this is just like uh, the, 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 event, the information. I guess this is from over here. Uh, now we're down over here. Um... Image number two, choose your opponent. Choose your opponent from the multiple enemies that are shown on the uh, stage select screen. The key is to go in with a team that is well prepared against any enemy. The first step is to defeat all the enemies that are shown. So I'm assuming we have, yeah, I guess all of these, that's what this part of it is. Um, you have to go through this and defeat all these different enemies and you choose which one you want to go up against, but you want to defeat all of them. Number three, challenge the strong enemy with a hundred of your chosen characters. The battle will commence as usual as a regular battle. There will be multiple fights, thus use items and super attacks to your advantage to clear the stage. Fight efficiently. Um, yeah, characters that have been used once can't be used again in the following battle. That's of course, because that's what we did last time. Uh, number four, defeat all the enemies that make the boss appear at the center. in the center. When you defeat all the opponents that are displayed, the last boss will appear on the question mark spot. Fight him with the remaining characters that you have. The last enemy is very strong, according to Trunks. Be sure to have enough strong characters left over. So that's going to be interesting. Oh man, look at that. That's so cool. Oh, look, we got potential orbs over here. Some Elder Kai's. Heck yeah. Number five, aim to clear the stage by defeating the final boss. Number six, clear the stage and claim luxurious rewards. You can exchange the battle crystals or battlefield medals as we call them in the Baba Shop. These medals can be used to Dokken Wake in certain characters. Battlefield medals can be used to Dokken Wake in physical Ginyu 2 LR. Um, so yep, of course. Checkpoint. Collect as many warriors as you can and have them trained up. These uh, bosses can't be compared to the usual bosses. There are some points to be careful about. Uh, warning. They have extreme large amount of health. So they have a whole bunch of health points. Um, their HP amount is just something else. They will also reduce incoming damage. Warning. Heavy attacks. Even their regular attacks are strong. Be prepared for it. Warning. Be careful for the extremely powerful super attacks. Reduce damage from super attacks by using skills and items. Wow. That's awesome. I can't wait. Um, this is going to be so phenomenal. There is just, this is just so cool. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like over here, this is all the information I was reading from. This is all the translated information anyway. So uh, I'm, I'm really stoked for this. I can't wait for this to come out on the global side. Um, I really hope that this is a hit because I know the first time that they did it, it really stunk. Um, we also have another um, shout out over here to the Facebook. And this, so this is uh, completely separate. This is for Dragon Ball Heroes. It looks like we're in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. 
um, or Fighter Z. I think this is going to come out on everything. This is even come out on Dokkan Battle. So this is essentially the new form for Ultra Instinct Goku. This is his mastered Ultra Instinct form. If you see, he has like the gray white hair. I think it's more gray than anything. But um, this is going to be available hopefully soon on the on JP side of Dokkan Battle because you know how they like to release the new forms alongside the releases of this information. So this is the fully mastered Goku. There's no official information about Dokkan Battle, but I'm sure JP will have it very soon once it airs. They'll probably do a special banner for it. Um, but this is Goku's fully mastered Ultra Instinct form. It's insane. <laughs> uh, we won't go too far into that because we're going to try and keep this a full Dokkan Battle uh, related video. Now, I know you all probably aware if you follow me that I do follow the Reddit, uh, the JP 3rd Anniversary. I have not gone over everything, but the Mbega threat is here on the actual Reddit. It's ending soon, so if you haven't done anything, if you have any questions, this is definitely the place to go. It is a pinned post. Uh, there's a lot over here. I, I was looking specifically for the Perunga missions, which we're going to go over, but as you see over here, we have a lot of different posts about everything that's happening over here. A lot of this is just like news information and log into your accounts for specific things and data downloads, but... Perunga missions, I think, are finally available uh, to get everything, and I'm going to do a separate video on all the Perunga missions and what you need to do, uh, but it looks like the last set of Wishes is finally available, and you can get all of them. Uh, let's see. Confirm, confirm, confirmed. I haven't done Wish Set 3, so I will do all those with you. I did. I think I did clear a Dokkan event once um, off camera. I did the rest of them, so I'll, I'll try to do the rest of them on camera for you. Uh, again, I apologize for not doing a live stream this past weekend. I was, uh, I, I've just been, you know, I, I, it's really difficult for me to sit down and actually have time to do a, a full two to three hour live stream like I was doing when I first uh, got a new system. Uh, but this is going to be awesome. I can't wait to get the rest of these. I have been personally doing the, the top three, uh, for Incredible Gems, uh, the, uh, the Grand, El was it the Grand Elder Kai's? Uh, and the um, uh, potential orbs. So those are the top three rewards that I've been doing. It's the first three and the selection for Perunga missions. But I will go over all of them before it ends. I'll do a full guide since all of them are now available. Uh, now we're going to go over to the wiki. So shout out to the Dokkan Battle wiki. Uh, this is for the Universe Survival Saga. Uh, this is pretty awesome. Uh, this event, as of right now, this event only goes up to stage four on the global side. So the other stages will be coming out soon. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to talk about it from dbz.space in a minute. But essentially, uh, level one losers erased from the tournament in the tournament of power. Uh, you can do this one if you want to. If you're low on Zenny, this will probably be pretty fun for you to run. It's pretty easy going here. You get the Hercule statues. I, I ran it three times. I didn't get any gold ones. So I guess it has a really low rate of gold ones to drop. I don't know what the actual rates are, but that's what these are. You have Sensu Beans from level two, Awaken Your Sleeping Battle Spirit. Uh, these two stages I feel like you just do just to get the Dragon Stones. I wouldn't be grinding it out for either of these unless you're really low of them. Level 3, Bergamo, the Crusher versus Goku. Apparently people are saying he has a really low drop rate, but when he does drop, he drops two at a time. So I don't know what you want to make of that. Now, I would definitely get him up to Super Attack 10 if I was you, uh, because when he gets available for Dokkan Waken, he Dokkan Waken into Ultra Instant Goku. And because, like I was talking about over here, um, with the new with the new form that we have, this guy may possibly Dokkan Waken a second time. We don't know. We have no idea if he's going to Dokkan Waken a second time. I feel like this is one of the events that, that, that they would actually add events or levels onto as we get more information. So that's going to be, but uh, just definitely get into at least Super Attack 10, so that way you're ready to Dokkan Awaken him. Um, also, if you do have Ultra Instinct Goku and you've been waiting to farm him up to Super Attack 10, grind out another 9 of them on top of it. Get him ready for Dokkan Awakening. It's a pain in the butt to Dokkan Awaken him, by the way. Um, not a huge pain in the butt, but you need um, you need 20 of these Goku medals, Awakening medals Goku. And let's see over here, we'll bring this up. And this is from the Universe Survival Saga. And how many of these do you need? You need 20 of them. So you're going to need to, when it becomes available, you're going to need to grind them out. And it's going to be from stage 12. I don't know what the drop rate is over here. Uh, but you're going to need to grind out, let's see, 9 to 10. So you're going to need 200 of these metals. Assuming it's a guaranteed 2 per drop, you're going to have to grind this out like 100 times. <laughs> I don't know if the uh, if the actual Universal, um, uh, the Warriors of Universe 6, uh, if that category is going to allow you to get additional drops with this probably will so you'll probably get a lot more you could probably get up to uh, four or six of them at a time but it's still going to be a pain in the butt to grind that out uh anyway we're sticking to the global side as of right now I'll grind at level three get out at least um a super attack 10 of him 
Doken Waken him. If you're looking to do the, the actual Ultra Instinct Goku, uh, feed him in, feed these guys in, get another nine of them, get them all ready for Doken Awakening, so that way when you're ready, you can go ahead and just grind out those medals and have fun. Level four, make way for Topo Warrior of Justice. Uh, this is where you get the Kachin medals, uh, or Ken, K K Kachi Kachin. Um, this is where you go, and when you grind it out, it's pain in the butt to grind out this level. I probably am not going to do it, uh, mainly because, one, I already have a hell of a lot of Elder Kai's. There's no reason for me to. I might do it for the Incredible Hourglasses. You can get up to three of them. Um, you, you get a whole bunch of stuff. It's just like the other the, the Dragon Ball GT events that you go and you grind out. Go to the Baba Shop with the medals, the, the actual stuff that you grind out from this event, and you can purchase them. Personally, the Reverse Awakening medals is what I would be looking for, and probably the... Um, Hercule statues for more Zenny because I'm kind of behind on Zenny because I finally purchased everything for my LR Hercule to get up to Super Attack 20. Um, anyway, uh, that's going to be up to level 4. We There are other levels. It's not available on Global. We have level 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, so when we get those, I'll probably go full a little bit more in depth on it. But just to make note, uh, level 8, you're going to be able to grind out urine. Uh, level 9, you're going to be able to grow, uh, get out uh, Ultimate Gohan, which will be cool because then you can increase the super attack of all your Ultimate Gohans. Uh, level 10 is Freezy Pop, and I, I really thought that he was going to be available from this. I really wanted him because I believe he actually feeds into the other Frieza. Let me go into the Frieza Disambiguation real quick while I have you all here. So uh, we had that one that was available from the, uh, the actual... Uh, yeah, this one right over here. So this guy. Um, this one was available from the one Paikuhan event, the Warriors of uh, the, the Other World Tournament. So, I was waiting for this guy because he will feed into him, which will increase his super attack, which is going to be awesome because now I can get this guy up to super attack 10 without any issues. Now, if you guys weren't around for that, I apologize. That really stinks. I'm, I'm sorry. I really wish you guys were around for this event. I have no idea when it's going to come back, if it's going to come back, but this character is awesome. He's really good to have on an extreme tech team. Uh, tech plus 90% when performing a super attack, and now that he's grindable at the super attack 10, it's going to be awesome. Plus, remember, he's tech, so he automatically gets a built-in crit, so if you only have one of them, you could at least get some crits off some of the time. And it looks like he has a chance to stun. It looks like it's only a 20% chance, but it's still good. Um, I don't know if he'll ever get a Doken Awakening, but I can't wait for this to, for this to actually come around. Um, or for, for that event to come around so we can get him Doken Awaken, or, uh, Super Tech 10. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that, and then you have the Frieza Doken Awaken medals here. He'll go into the Revive Go Golden Frieza with Angel Form. Um, that one will be fed into the future revival of Frieza, which I'm assuming is going to be right around the corner. And then the actual medals that I told you about, level 12, um, for the Goku to get him Doken Awaken to his Ultra Instinct form. There's a whole bunch of stuff that will be available as well. Right now, I think we only have clear uh, stages 1 through 4 on Normal and Z Hard for a whole bunch of training items. Um, I'm pretty sure maybe clear stage 3 um, on hard, Z Hard, you get 1 Dragonstone. And yes, clear stage 4 on Z Hard 30 times with 3 cards in the Universe Survival Saga category. And you get that Goku. Um, outside of that, everything else is for stages that isn't available yet. Now we're going to jump over to the dbz.space information. Um, so this is what I was saying. That it's probably going to be available soon. It says here that we have the Golden Angel Frieza. And the Golden Angel Frieza is going to be available on 221. That looks like it's his Dokkan variant. Um, so I mean, we can go over here and take a look at it real quick. Uh, this is his Extreme variant. Uh, strength type keep plus 2. Extreme type strength. Uh, extreme strength type HP attack and defense plus 40%. So this is the free-to-play unit, and we also have the Dokkan variant of that Goku that we were just talking about, uh, and that is going to be available soon as well. As you see over here, he Dokkan's from this guy, and yeah. It's interesting that there's two separate dates. I don't know what's going on because they're both from the same event. Possibly we'll get this part first, and then we'll get the Ultra Instinct second. Um, I don't know in how, how the stages are going to go for being released. Because as you see over here, um, Frieza will be released on stage 10, but the Ultra Instinct is on stage 12. So we might just go up to stage 11, and then we got stage 12 at a different point in time. I don't know, um, but all I know is that there's two separate dates, but it's the, currently the 18th. Uh, and this one should be released in like three more days, which will be on my Wednesday. And then the first of, it will be next Thursday for the Ultra Instinct Goku to be released. Not to mention, we do have other characters like the LR, Goten, and Trunks, which is going to be really cool to have. And the new Dokkan variants of the Super Saiyan Goku, the Super Saiyan Vegeta, and Super Saiyan Trunks. This Vegeta is actually pretty cool. He, I believe this is the one that is the um, uh, support unit. Yeah, key plus two attack and defense plus 5 to 25%, which is really cool. Um, and he raises attack for nine turns every time he super attacks, which I guess will make him hit a little bit harder, but he'll be off rotation, so it won't really work that well. 
this will be the new Doken Waken of the free to play trunks. Um, he becomes really viable for a free to play unit attack plus 70% when facing two or fewer enemies. So essentially, he'll be really good for Doken events. Uh, he does have fierce battle and attack plus 70% for a free to play supreme damage dealing unit. He's really not that bad. Um, and then this, this Goku, this is the, the strange Goku. Um, as you see over here, he's the one who survives knockout att uh, attacks. Attack plus 90%, which is really actually good for him now, and survives a knockout attack when HP is 20% or above. So uh, it's not that that it was really a viable mechanic. I believe this was for the full power Frieza event, uh, but now uh, I don't really know what how viable he would be on anything, unless like he's going to be like your last unit in your turn, and you have an enemy attacking you at the end, and you know you're not going to be able to survive towards the end. Maybe that'll help you out a little bit. I don't know. Um, I, I'm sure he will come in handy, but those those situations are very difficult to set up, and unless you're specifically trying to set it up or just getting lucky, the fact that, that of using that second part of it is not going to be that viable, though the attack plus 90% definitely makes him a lot more viable of a unit. Plus, he has, what, prepared for battle, shattering the limit, um, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Warrior Race, Golden Warrior, Kamehameha. I mean, he doesn't have... I really wish he had something else for attack buff. I mean, Z Fighters is great and all, but there's not a lot of units that actually share that. I guess the the, the Gohan is good to have. Uh, and if you're running this Goku, that's cool as well. Um, actually, now that I think about it, looking at some of these, there's a lot of A-string units that are SSR for strength that you could possibly run with the Z, with the, uh, Z Fighters on there. So, like, this Gohan over here is really good for support, so you could probably definitely have him if you keep this Goku in the middle. Ultimate Gohan and this Goku over here, I guess, I guess that's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, that's it for the uh, new units and the, and the release of them. Um, I can't wait for that to all happen. Let me go ahead and close out of these tabs over here. Um, we will, I was going to talk about this, but I'm already at like 16 minutes here, so I'll save this for a separate video. We're going to talk about the Dragon Ball Super Assemble representatives of Universes Summon. Um, they have all the LRs on this banner, and personally, I have a new respect for 17 since like a couple episodes ago. So I would consider pulling from it, but none of these guys are Doken Fest exclusive, so you'll be able to get them from any other banner, uh, assuming that they're on them. But um, as of right now, I'm going to call it a stop here, guys. When the rest of this comes out, I'll let you guys know. I will go over this banner when it, um, well a different time because i don't have i don't want this video to go on too much longer but anyway guys and thank you for joining me here today hope that it was very informative for you all make sure to subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you all later peace